On a visit to Paris back in the 1980s, Rolf Feilbaum spotted a chair by the name of Antony, created in 1954 by the French designer Jean Prouvé. Ever since that first encounter with Antony, Rolf has been actively collecting Prouvé designs, building up the world's largest museum holdings of works by Jean Prouvé at the Vitra Design Museum. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get back to basics. Who was Jean Prouvé? Born in 1901, Jean was the son of an artist and a pianist. He trained as a blacksmith, but later became a designer, an architect and a lecturer. Anyway, in 1931, he created a home for his many talents, Les Ateliers Jean Prouvé, which created some of the greatest works of 20th century design. But Jean's work was disrupted by the war. He was active in the French Resistance, eventually being named Mayor of Nancy. And he also designed pavilions to house displaced victims of the conflict, which were quick, easy and efficient to construct. When France returned to peace, Jean got back to his atelier, designing furniture, architecture, and even one of the world's first modular petrol stations. Today, you can find one on the Vitra campus. But at root, Jean was a family man, and it's his daughter, Catherine, who guards his legacy today. Around the year 2000, Rolf and Catherine started a close collaboration to produce all of Jean's furniture, creating a new home for it. That collaboration is now stronger than ever, with archival works being redeveloped all the time, ready to be shipped from right here on the Vitra campus. So, while our story may have started with a single vintage chair, just look at where it's ended up today.